Hello, people of YouTube. I think today I'm going to do something a little different. I actually recently got some parts to upgrade my computer to give it a little more power and hopefully deliver me a better gaming experience along with some... I don't know how much difference it'll be for y'all, but I mean, hey, computer parts. So it's actually going to start with an unboxing today. I got this. It's a little... The way I currently run it, I actually... If you want to look over at the computer tower run my keyboard and everything off the side of the tower because the cables aren't long enough. Okay. Um, but with the new tower I've got, the I won't be able to do that. I have to run off the front and that'd look tacky, so I picked up a little hub so I can mount that on the little side of that end table and still have my um, keyboard and such because the cords won't reach the back of the tower. So it's just a little powered USB hub, so let's start with it since it's the only thing not actually in a new box at the moment. So, let's see here. Okay. Looks like we got the little hub right here. Let's see. Got the part that goes from the actual, from the hub to the tower. Then that's power. Then four USB 2.0 ports. That should be more than enough for what I need. And down here in the bottom, we've got the cord for it and the adapter. And it looks like a little instruction book, but who cares about those? Man. <laughs> okay, so how did I... I don't want to put this back in there the way it was. How was it in there? How was this in there? Was it in there like this? Looks good to me. I don't think... Yes? No? I don't think it was supposed to be in there like that, but I'm going to be getting it back out later. Just putting it back in the box for show. Quick disclaimer, I have actually already opened this box to make sure that everything I ordered was actually in it. So, but I wanted the taping and tearing the tape, so I actually retaped it. I haven't actually pulled anything out. I just did a quick glance to make sure everything that's supposed to be in here is in fact in here. Okay. And yes, I know you're not supposed to connect towards yourself with a knife, but... Technically, I just off-center, so it's it's totally safe. There we go. Put the cover back on the blade there. Okay. Shall I get a shot in the box? Hmm? Shall I get a shot in the box? Yeah. Got a lot of stuff packed in here. Let's start with this. I'm just going to mostly do small to large. Since the new tower, which I'll see in a bit, um, ha the best airflow for it is if I remove the hard drive cage, it also has two optical drive cages. Since I do have a disk drive, I figured I'd repurpose the other drive as a di to hold the disk drive, so I got an, an adapter, which, based on the reviews, seems like it'll do the trick. Wow, they, this is no-nonsense packaging. It is literally just... This looks like it should work. I think it's got some screws in it, and the actual drive bay. It looks like, it's like solid states go right here if I remember right. Then you can actually put a three and a half inch drive here. So hopefully that'll work. I, do, I will have a build vlog, so you, you'll be able to actually see if it works or not. And it'll be all unedited, so, I'll, so hopefully I won't, there won't be any cursing. Little vlog might take a little bit because last time I, or might last a little bit because last time I upgraded the computer, all I did was put a new CPU cooler on it, and that took me a little bit longer than I care to admit. Okay, let's go for the, the small thing next. Got a little fan splitter from Fantex here. It, it takes a three or four pin fan, puts two of them, and then the, the motherboard sees both of them as one. A lot of people will actually look at this, I noticed online, and notice that one of the plugs, can you zoom in a little, uh, is, one of these is missing a plug. That is actually the way it is supposed to be because that missing one is what sends to the, the motherboard the fan speed. The motherboard doesn't need two fan speeds coming to it, so it is intentional that it is missing. Oh, it's, it's funny reading reviews of people that don't understand a product and they're saying it's missing something. I was like, no, that's exactly the way it should be. And then, so the next smallest thing I have in here, 
I've got four uh, fan extension cables so I can route the fans a little better. I mean, not really much to look at. They're 300 millimeter. Don't know how far that trans what that translates to for inches, but they're a little they're sleeved. I don't know if how well that's coming up on camera. They're sleeved and work with I hope three or four pin because that's why I got them. It does look like they will work with three or four pin. So that's those. Okay, sorry about the little jump. If there was one in my position, I uh, had to do something real quick. Let's go with the first actual, what you could consider, full-size box. Since I have a new tower, I actually have more room for a new cooler. So I got a Cooler Master, Master Air Pro 4. I would like to mention, I don't think this needs it, but I am not actually sponsored by anyone. Although, you know what, if somebody wants to, I probably wouldn't object any. I mean, I am looking to upgrade to Coffee Lake next year intent for anybody willing to be generous. So let's take a quick look in this. Looks like they did a pretty good job of packaging this. Oh. Okay, let's see. My guess is this is all the brackets and whatnot. Yep. Well, there's the clip that actually holds the fan in place. Although it looks like there's one because from my angle, but there's actually two. Screws, thermal paste, uh, little standoffs, the actual thing that holds it in place. Um, and looks like some more parts that hold it in place. Let's put, can I get this back in the box the way it was? Yeah, that's a little more bulged than it was. Okay, and next we've got the cooler. This is a bit of a beefy cooler. We've got a little documentation here. And pull this out. And you can see the cooler here. Yeah. Just turn around the back real quick. That's the back plate that secures onto the motherboard. It helps hold it in place because this thing weighs, well, it doesn't weigh a lot. For a motherboard, it does have a bit of weight to it. See if I can get this out for an actual decent look, preferably without breaking anything. There we go. Looks like it doesn't have pre-applied thermal paste. Got high pr uh, static pressure fans. Already got it attached, so that was actually spare holders. The This part's actually rubber, which is kind of surprising, but at the same time makes sense. Let's see here. Looks like it survived. Oh, what's that? It looks like there's a little bit of plastic here, but for the most part, it looks like it survived shipping intact. I don't see any bent fins or heat pipes. One of the reasons I chose this particular one is the black top as opposed to just the silver one. I figured it would make it look a little better. Because I do go for aesthetics in my computer to some degree. Not to some, not like theme builds like some people do, but I do like aesthetics. And, ah. Let's see. Let's get this put back in there. Get, we're about to get to those some of the stuff that has uh, most of the parts. So let's just slide that in there. Put you back in here. I also picked this because it does support the LGA 1150 and 51 bracket. I know I have one or socket. I have Devil's Canyon, which I think uses the 1151, so should be fine on that. Okay, next up is. Actually, probably the heaviest box in here. It is an EVGA 850-watt G2 power supply. It, quite frankly, it actually looks like the initial seals have already been cut on it. If you can see right there, I don't know if that actually shows up on camera, but it does look like the initial seal. But, I mean, it's shrink it's shrink wrap, so it looks like it's still good from the factory. I picked this for a reason you all will see in a minute. I actually have a Raid Max... Uh, 630 watt in there right now. I just wanted to make sure I'd actually have the necessary power. Very carefully cut the plastic. Don't know if I'm at this exact second if I'm going to actually pull the cords out or not. Because that would be a lot to put back if I do. Okay. Put the little cover back on.
Yeah, now that the plastic's off, it's easier to tell that that factory seal has been cut. But I don't think that should be an issue. It was new, so. Let's see here. It's even got a handle on the top. That's something. Factory seal. It's like, maybe it hasn't been cut. It just looks like it's clear. Yeah, I don't think it was cut. It's just clear enough it looks like it was. Especially seeing as I didn't even cut it even though I thought I did. Come on, open up. Okay, come on. Why do you not want to open? There it goes. I'm just going to leave the cover off the knife for now. Oh, that's... It's got a nice case for all the cabling. That's actually nice. A good way to store the unused cables. One that runs to the wall. Nice sleeved cabling, and th there's no ketchup and mustard here. It's all black. So, looks like the motherboard. I'm not going to bother showing all these. They're, they're typical things. Hey, cool. Velcro tie down straps. That'll come in handy. Let's see. Can I put that? And then, they went all out packaging this. Run out of room. That's a, kind of a salt. I'm gonna set this on the floor for a second. Hope the cat doesn't go after it. Pull those off. Owner's manual. Pretty a thick one. Really, how much of a manual do you need for a power supply? Then the actual power supply is in here, apparently. It's got a bit of heft to it. Uh, I think according to the box, 140 millimeter fan. Is that plastic on it? Mm. Get to peel that off. That's always very satisfying. So, it's got all it's fully modular. So I've got all the connectors right there, and there's not much to look at from the top or the outside, which is fine with me. The case actually does not that I'm picked to put all this into will not be showing the power supply very much. So let's get this all sealed back up. Frankly, considering I'm gonna be using this soon, I'm not entirely sure if sealing it all back up is actually necessary. This, come on, get on there. Eh, good enough. Very well packaged. The The current power supply was basically just loose in the box. It's always nice when something's like packaged nicely. Plus, I don't know if I said this already, handle. <laughs> now for the most expensive part of everything that came out of this. Hey, what's this? First of all, no, that's just the coupons and stuff, new egg sims. That's nice. Okay, the, the most expensive part of all this, a new GTX 1080 Ti from Gigabyte. So, uh, it'll be replacing the, two, the R9 270X currently in the PC. Let's see here. I'm not gonna go off spouting technical stuff, but mostly because I don't know it off the top of my head. Oh, I just tore the box. Come on, get out of there. Ah. This is also the reason I need new cool or towers because this thing is too big to fit in the current one. You'll actually see this before I do, assuming it's not wrapped in anything. Let's see where is it? <laughs> okay. I like the what is this? A little Oris badge. Uh, those are you know it's those things you see on computers like the Windows sticker. Software drivers, then. Let's see here, graphics card, quick guide, I do not see, oh there's, why is English in the top right corner? Most of them put it in the top left. Uh, VR link, whatever. I don't know what that is and I don't need it because I don't do VR. If I had the money I would, I would love to have the money so that I could be an early adopter of like all that kind of stuff. Okay, let's close that, that that's actually kind of neat the way that's in there. Okay. Can I put that back in? So, okay. 
Maybe now we'll actually see the... Well, it's in an anti-static bag, but it's there. Let's start with what's right here. Looks like... Oh, it's an adapter cable for the power supply in case I don't have the necessary the necessary plugs. Okay, so... Got the anti-static bag. Jeez. Where did you take this out? Let's see. Let's take the entire styrofoam insert out. It'll make me feel better. Plus, I'm not going to be reaching over. Okay. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Which side is the part that actually plugs into the computer? it would be this side. So that's probably the widest end. This thing is big. Oh, wow. I wish I had a scale. Qualified gigabyte. Uh, whatever that means. Carefully set this down. Let's cut that seal. There it goes. Now it looks like it's gonna need to cut it right here too. Whoops, cut through the bag. That shouldn't be an issue. Ah, it's open already. I have obviously never done an unboxing like this before. Okay. Moment of truth, the piece de resistance. Oh jeez, this got some heft to it. Gigabyte Aorus 1080 Ti. It's a big hefty graphics card. It's, and see here, it's got three fans, which puts better cooling. NVIDIA supports two-way SLI, which is what this is. I'll be taking the covers off. See one dual link DVI. It's like three display ports, two HDMI. Then one of the reasons I also picked this one over some of the others is it actually has a nice back plate, which is what you see when it's plugged in. It's got a little heat sink right there. That's actually where the die is. That's about how big the actual graphics chip is. So this is a not the most expensive option with the 1080 Ti's, but it's it's the second most expensive. Let's see. Let me check the fans real quick. I've read a lot of the reviews that say the fans are sometimes stuck on the shroud, but it looks like the shroud's fine. A lot of the reviews said the shroud's made of plastic, but it feels like metal to me. Let's get this put back in. Hopefully without catching it on the bag. I wonder if an anti-stag pack is still good for more than one use. Let's get this put back in here. Back in. I feel like I used more force than I would have liked to, but I'm legitimately not sure I'm actually going to be able to put that back in the way I want. Let's try it again. Turning this up and turning this over because I think it was actually positioned the other way whenever I got it out. I guess technically I could just put it back in the box without the bag. You know what? I think I had it in the right way the first time. Oh well. Just need to get this back in there well enough to. Actually put it back in the box. And I don't think I'm going to do that. Well, then again, I'm also not going to be without the bag for too long. So it actually should be fine if I just slide it back in here without the bag. So, let's see here. I think this went like that. Put that down. Anti-static bag in there. Mm. Get this put back in. And y'all will be seeing that 
in one of my upcoming videos when I actually assemble the computer, or at least upgrade it. And now, if you want to give me a second, I'll get the biggest thing I have, which is the new case. Let's see, what do I do with my eyes? I have everything right next to me. I'm leaving myself with no room to walk around. And I think I boxed the cat in the kitchen. Oh, I didn't put the graphics card back in its big box. Oh, that's why the box didn't. Okay. Let's see here. The styrofoam goes into the black box, black box goes into the big box. Big fish eats little fish. Okay. And just for the sake of clarification, yes, I know I'm not as funny as I think I am. But, the way I figure it, if you crack a hundred jokes, you're bound to get at least one laugh. At least get half a groan. That's good too. Okay. Now that's set down. What the heck did I do? That seven hundred seventy dollar part just fell over. I'm sure it's fine though. I'm not Linus. <laughs> Anybody that's watched any tech channels knows about that. Linus Tech Tips. And he has a tendency to drop stuff. This case, from what I recall, weighs about 25 pounds and is just shy of two feet tall. It is a beast standing at five inches taller than my current case. Let's see. The question is, how am I going to get it out of here to show y'all? See if I can set it on its side and pull it out. Could open up the bottom, flare it out, then pull the box up. Yeah, I can do that. So I have that packing tape. I can always reseal this whenever I because I'm keep I'm gonna keep all these boxes. Not quite what I meant to have happen. <laughs> I know 25 pounds isn't exactly heavy, but when you're trying to be gentle with it, it kind of is. And yes, that is the sound of me actually cutting the box a little bit. I don't know if that actually picked up on camera. Which, fun fact, since I am not, <laughs> since my computer is uh, out of commission at the moment, since we're about to upgrade it, all this is being filmed on my phone. Which way is up? I think this one's up. So let's see if I can actually just push it out. This is not working. It's in here good, I'll give it that. Oh, that's why. The little handle is stuck in the styrofoam. Well, I'm willing to bet the one on the other side is too. I get this popped back out the way I want it to. Need something long. Yeah, I'll pack PCI Express cover should do. You know what? The problem is I'm catching it trying to pull it out. I wonder if I can push it out instead. Look out, cat. I don't want to step on you. I have enough room to actually do this. <laughs> this will not be going in the box after I'm done showing it to you. <laughs> oh. Big old box. Okay, 
This is the tower. It is a Thermal Take Core V51 uh, power cover edition. It actually has a uh, little cover on the power supply spot. Take the styrofoam off. Let's see. It looks like the user's manual. It's really not that much to figure out with the computer case. Let's see here. I need to find a spot to get a grip on this. And pull it out of the bottom styrofoam. Sounds like it actually broke. <laughs> Oh, that must be the the hand cover. And there's the case. On the top, it actually it looks like it's a magnetic fan filter. Oh yeah, based on the way it's wanting to go on, that's magnetic. That's nice. That should actually help keep some of the cat fur, because the cat actually likes to jump up on top of the tower. Let's see here. There's, and she's already playing in the box. And that is not a surprise at all. Boom. <laughs> okay, peel off. I wanted to get the tempered glass one, but I couldn't find it in stock anywhere. I could order tempered glass from this, but it costs the same as the actual tower itself. Is it just... That is not a pot on there. That is actually caught in the groove. And it is on both sides. That's interesting. Got a cat. Okay. Oh, before I open it up, on the front you've got two USB 3.0s. Who sworn there was a couple more on there? I guess I was wrong. Reset button, power button. Oh, that is a satisfying click. Uh, mic, headphones, your uh, covers for the optical drives. Got space for three 120 fans, two 140s, or two 200s. Same with the top, although I think it can support three two on forties. Then the back, so let's swing that around. Supports one one twenty or one one forty. It comes with two one twenties installed up front and one one twenty installed in the back. What is that groove there for? I wonder. Don't know. The only thing I wish this had would be a spot to mount a graphics card right here, just so I can see the front of the card. But eh, usually that is you know, more expensive. Then right here, it actually has a bottom cover for the power supply. It's a filter to keep dust from getting in it. And I think there's one up front. I can feel it. Hmm. Let's turn it on its side real quick and see. Ugh. Yeah, let's see. How do you get that off? Oh, it looks like it only... Yeah, I'd have to take the front cover off to do that. Which I'm sure I can do, but I'm just not going to do it this second. And let's open her up. That's just, is that? Is it? Okay, those aren't coming out. For a second, I was wondering if those were capped with thumb screws or not. And. Want to do this one? No, you go. I've been holding my hands up for 28 minutes and my fingers are going to sleep. <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> there goes the cat again. Okay, I'm going to actually need a new source of light to get this with my lamp go. I set this over here. It should provide enough light to actually light up the inside of the case. Is that coming off cross yeah. us? It's like... So there's... It actually has little uh, solid state trays right here on top of the cover for the power supply. I do not know... It looks like there's a couple screws here. So, nope, those aren't screws. Those are rivets. So I do not know if, unless those screws take it out, I do not know if this tray is removable. There's the front panel header. It looks like in the tray here, for the hard drive, we have the case screws and headers and whatnot. I'm going to just set those out. I will actually be taking these trays out and, how the heck was that in there? It's on a rail system there, we go. We're leaving this and I'm adapting the top this tray for the hard drive. This should come out. And the fan cord, there's two fans right here. And all the front IOs right there. Well, that's all the parts. Stay tuned and we will actually I'll actually have a video up uh, dis both disassembling and, and my old computer and reassembling it into the new case. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.